What's going on guys, it's Dane here, welcome back to another reaction video, and today we're going to be reacting to the top 10 best Call of Duty zombie maps by What Culture. Now, these guys actually have a lot of YouTube channels, uh, from wrestling channels to MMA, uh, to just What Culture Gaming, which is what we're going on to. Anyways guys, if you guys do like this video, be sure to drop a like, let me know if you enjoy these reaction videos by letting me know in the comments. Anyways guys, let's get into this. Alright guys, I got the video open right now, as you can see, uh, 10 greatest Call of Duty zombies maps. By what culture gaming? Uh, this just got posted today, about uh, six hours ago. So uh, sorry about my headset. The mic's broken; it always falls down. But we're using this mic, so yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get into this video. That's a little loud. By the way, guys, this is my first reaction. This is my first reaction to this uh, to this video. So let's go. Love it or loathe it, you can't deny that after 14 years in the spotlight, Call of Duty has left its mark on the industry in more ways than one. True. From obliterating the competition with the Modern Warfare and Black Ops series, True. To Warfare being Black Ops is awesome. Dry. Usually, <laughs> once <laughs> the Warfare Duty does game suck, doesn't it? has been released, the previous game is left to rot. However, True. with Black Ops 3, that isn't the case. Ooh. Even with Infinite Warfare being the prime Call of Duty title right Shots now, fired. Black Ops 3 is still being played by a huge chunk of the community. That's true. And Treyarch hasn't left them in the dark. Nope. With eight remasters to sink your teeth into, Brooks, the recent Kino. Zombies Chronicles DLC has kept Black Ops 3 fresh. Zombies Chronicles, baby! Play. So, let's take a look back at Treyarch's heyday into All right, let's see, what's number 10? I'm rich from what culture I'm guessing number one will be and Origins. And these are the 10 greatest Call of Duty Zombies maps. Before we get into this, guys, I, this is, I've never watched this, but I'm thinking number one's gonna be Origins, probably, and I don't know, number 10 might be like... I have no idea, let's see. Number 10, Revelations. Ooh, controversial. About hype. The epic conclusion to the Origins timeline this was hyped the up, Zombies universe it? was in sight. But it wasn't what we expected. No, nope, disappointing it sucks. ending puts it firmly at the bottom yep, of this list. Disappointing. However, the nostalgia trip experienced when gallivanting around the relics of previous maps also puts it at the bottom of this list. But above yeah, the it wasn't creative, other maps really. that didn't quite make the cut. Returning fan favorites, the Apothecary Servant and Thundergirl yeah. were a nice touch. But the returning elemental staffs from Origins were essentially promised by the development team. True. But only appeared in a cutscene not to be usable. Yeah, Just I know, as right? We were all pissed. Just before they buggered off to work on whatever Call of Duty 15 ends up being. Number nine. Nacta and Totem. Nacta and Totem was the origin of all this madness. I don't know about that. In office mini game I, I don't know about that one. Of of Relax World again. War, it found its way into the title as a reward for completing a campaign, introducing Ooh. the base. Real quick, did they did they credit everyone in the description? Did they credit everyone? No, they did not. Okay, at least they put their name on the screen. Mechanics and the mystery box. Nacta was mm. about as bare bones as zombies could get. No perks, no Easter eggs, no goal. No, nope. just survive for as just long survive. as you can. Just survive. That's what Replay zombies should value, still however, be. Died a tragic death when newer maps were introduced and brought in new mechanics. Ooh, but the ray gun. a place on this list simply because without it, we wouldn't have the incredible zombie saga we have today. True. Number eight, five. Excuse me. Top ten greatest, and five is number eight. Okay, well, let's see what they have to say. Five doesn't get the recognition it deserves. The secret map unlocked after completing the Black Ops 1 campaign put you in the shoes of John F. Kennedy, Robert McNamara, Fidel Castro, and Richard Nixon. Oh, Taking place within the newly infected Pentagon, good, the map was as creepy as it was difficult. The Pentagon thief introduced a new, rage-inducing boss round into the mix, stealing players' weapons and yep. running off faster than any women in the immediate vicinity of Jules. <laughs> Slaying zombies as the late 35th women. President of the United States was in a little bad taste, but my word was it fun. Gathering zombies and putting them on ice with the Winter's oh, Howl was the brilliant Howl's entertainment, terrible. but because of the steep difficulty curve in comparison to previous maps, Five was left in a Marmite state. It sucks. You either loved it, or you hated it. Yeah, we hate it. I loved you though, Five. Number seven, Ascension. Ooh, Ascension. With the success of okay. zombies being reintroduced Another to Black, Black Ops, Ops Treyarch that. had one hell of a task at hand with DLC 1. Thankfully, though, they delivered. Sprinting around a derelict Russian cosmodrome it was, was a good truly map. terrifying. Plus, fun fact, I've only ever played the remastered Ascension, and it's still probably one of my favorite maps of all time. So there's a little fun fact for you guys. The introduction of two new perks went down Stamina very up well with PhD. fans. PhD flopper, yep. may you rest in peace. Plus, no, Ascension was the first rip. map to feature a major Easter egg. I like how they know zombies, Gersh like how the everyone mechanism. hated Revelation. After numerous grueling steps, a 90-second death machine and no achievement was your reward. Anticlimactic for sure, but it laid the groundwork for what would become a staple. 90 second death machine was pretty cool to be fair. Number six, Moon. Ooh, another Close controversial one. DLC season was the low gravity epic Moon. By the way, guys, I'm actually repping uh, Juggernog right now. I got Jug, um, like Juggernog soda in real life. So you. Yeah. 
The series thus far moon has given us weird and wonderful adventures, so ending up on a huge Group 935 compound on the moon just seemed the next logical step. Introducing mule it wasn't kit, Group 935, it was just Rick Toffins and, um, and Dr. Uh, a new gun that makes was, it wasn't 935. What wasn't there to love? Well, low gravity and this piece of sh**. <laughs> grand scheme, he Ray was a piece of shit, wasn't seen he? The end of the zombie storyline with the Earth being destroyed and ripped no. off and now in control of the hordes. But little did we know, this was just the beginning. It was only Number the five, beginning, man. Derizen Drive. Yes! Black Ops 3. Yes, Derizen is an amazing map. We're actually going to be going for around 100 tonight, uh, but this video will be probably posted the day after, but we'll see. His first DLC set the bar high. Yes! Continuing the origin best DLC in the Derizen game, in my Draken opinion. Love letter best, to suckers for best map. Castles. Bringing back the dreaded oh my god, that as meme. well as the Hellhounds, Derizen had it all. Best From Black time Ops 3 travel to elements sure. of bows to more low gravity and turning the tables on Richtofen's grand scheme, by blowing yes, up the moon instead. blowing up the, the moon, baby. The is convoluted as anything, and I'm making no attempt to explain it all here. Spearheading the collecting of souls within the Origins timeline to explain and setting it. the chain of events in motion leading up to Revelations, oh, man. the Horizon will go down in history as one, as one of the best. Of the greats. Yeah, it is one Number of the greats. Number four, Kino Yes, Kino Dutton, baby! Being a zombie's baby. opener in Black Ops was no easy task, but Kino delivered. It Introducing did, the gassy Nova Crawlers and the fan favorite Thunder Gun. Who'd have thought running around in an abandoned theater would be this entertaining? With Who film reels, it? new radios adding more to the zombies cannon, secret rooms foreshadowing upcoming maps, introducing time travel into the mix, and in my opinion, the best music easter egg in all of zombies, yep. Kino was special to many. 115. Because it's about as zombies as you can get. Number three, Darice, Ooh. or the Giant. I love, I love the, the Giant, most man. Iconic the most map played map list, ever. Darice appeared in three of the four Treyarch Zombies games. It was remastered so four times, or three tested. times. Back in World at War, Darice introduced teleporters and the iconic Pack-a-Punch machine. Yeah. It also had bucket the three gun of replay glitch. value. Even if every game you sat on the catwalk with a packed MG42, yes, the Barracuda FUA rounds, A11, it was still fun yes. every time. The AK-74 FU2, the Black Ops 3 remaster, the Giant, is, is still amazing. one of the most played maps on the title. Yep. Just going to show that once a great map, always a great map. True. Number two. Mob of the Dead. Let's go, kind of Mob of the Dead, baby. It's like a Mob movie in a map. That year's celebrity special, reminiscent of Call of the Dead in Black Ops 1. True. Set on Alcatraz Island, this spook fest is on par with five levels of creepy. It Featuring is creepy, four mobsters isn't it? attempting to escape the now overrun island, it turns out they're stuck in a purgatory loop, only able to yeah. escape if they kill one of their own, unless he kills them first, causing them to be trapped in the cycle forever. True. Introducing the Hell's Retriever, Electric Cherry, putting a minigun in the mystery box, and the undeniably badass. Quad barrel shotgun, the Blundergat. Yes, mob or Acid Except for a remaster in Zombies Chronicles. Too soon? And number one, <laughs> Origins. I knew it! I don't think it could have been anything else. Origins Throwing is probably the best. into the mix gave tons for fans to chew on, and the map itself wasn't half bad either. Roving the trenches in 1918 France with honking great robots towering over Such overhead a good was map, a spectacle man. the Zombies fans were waiting for in the conclusion to Black Ops 2 Zombies mode. With the introduction of the Panzer Soldat, the tank, exclusive weapons, and of course really the elemental staffs, man. Really good Origins map. blew everyone away. The Easter egg left some bewildered, but it laid Terrible the Terrible Easter egg gunning. Everyone hated it at first. Zombies mode. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go and play some remastered Ascension. <laughs> Okay, that actually wasn't that bad of a video. I'm not gonna lie. All the other top 10s from other people that don't usually make top 10 zombies usually suck, but that wasn't that bad. You know, props to you, what culture. I actually like that. That was a good top 10, and I was right. I never watched a video before, but obviously Origins will be number one. It is, like, at the time, it was such a hyped up in... Like, such a hyped up map, and of course, it is by community the most well-accepted map. Everyone loves it. Like, the community loved Origins. But... Uh, my personal favorite is Keynote or Toten, uh, but Origins is obviously by the community the most accepted, well-loved map. Anyways, guys, if you did love that video, uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys.